We're finally looking at properties. This one has a spectacular view. Look at this. The barn is also supposed to be really something to see. We'll take a look at that in a little bit. I should have gotten video of the house. Wendy and I just didn't really feel like it felt like our home. It was a berm house and there's nothing wrong with berm houses. You'll get to see other examples of those later in our search. A berm house is half buried. They do that to greatly reduce the costs of heating and cooling. Please comment below on what you like or don't like about all of these places that we're going to see. It would really help out our channel. Also subscribe if you haven't done so already. Colby is our real estate agent in Missouri. He's great. You'll see him in the videos. I'm going to leave his contact information in the video description. If anybody needs a real estate agent in Missouri, I'd recommend Colby. Say that again, Wendy. It would definitely work for goats. <laughs> yeah, that, that room right there on the corner with the red doors on the I imagine all these properties will have something special about them. Yeah. And uh, this barn seems pretty special to us. Coming from where we're coming from, where we didn't have any kind of room like this. I mean, we'd have to grow into this kind of space. Eventually, I want to do sheep and pigs and pigs, so we'll start back with our gateway. Yeah. Chickens again. <laughs> You'll have to grow something like this. Yeah. Otherwise, you got one pen for every goat. <laughs> if nothing else, this would be a place to store hay and uh, other kinds of feed, too. I've got you know, lots of space. There is a light bulb. Ooh, floor, floor is a little, little thin right there, especially. Yep. Yeah. No, that would make more sense for us as a as a micro. We'd have to redo the floor, of course. This place was very private, which is wonderful, but it did have a really long and very difficult gravel road to reach it. One downside to this first property was the shop area. It just really wasn't in very good condition. All right, so this place has a lot going for it. Let me do that again with the shadow. This place has a whole lot going for it. We can't do any filming. The owner doesn't want us filming his place, his, his rules. If we end up making a serious offer on this place, I'm gonna do some filming and just not post it until we own it. For my own edification here, when I'm looking at video, thinking about different places, I wanna say the shop in this place is spectacular, huge space to work with, wonderful rustic wood. In fact, there's so many rustic touches in the house itself and it's pretty well done I'd say. Um, we still need to go back through it again. The bathroom had a kind of a weird little tub um, so we're going to try and find the second the second tub or the second bathroom. It's on a lagoon system which means it's, it doesn't have a real good septic drain field. It just kind of drains out into not much of a lagoon either so that might have to be addressed but a lot more land. I'd say maybe more than half of it is really open pasture land, good for growing hay. The other part kind of up the hill is wonderfully shaded, big, big trees, two ponds. One of them we know has fish. We saw the fish. Yeah, there's a lot going for this place. Definitely one that we're gonna consider. It's too bad I couldn't shoot video at place number two. The extensive land was particularly beautiful with just the right mix of open pasture and forest and a flow from one space to the next that 
just made you want to explore it. Today is Saturday. We're going to look at more places today. We're also thinking about checking out the farmer's market, which is open on Saturdays. <laughs> Little taste of home. Oh, look at those. Windy. Yeah, yeah, I would definitely, I would put it. <laughs> Hi. Arrows. Yes, it's okay. Yeah, they're just getting chickens. Ava is a cute little town. The farmer's market seems a little small, but it's off season, so not a whole lot of vegetables to be sold right now but a charming little place this house wasn't necessarily on our list we just couldn't see some of the houses we really wanted to so we had time to look at this one the acreage isn't as large as what we were looking for the house is a little bigger than some of the ones we've already seen really low ceilings that's kind of kind of strange because I'm sort of tall it'd be hard to Hard to work with. But this is the first place that has greenhouses. We'll go take a look at that. Do you guys uh, get morels in Oregon? Not as much as I think there are out here. Oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah, morels are. Oh, this is a chick house. Here. Yeah, chicken, definitely. Nice little natural roosts. Kind of a little small space. But it's uh, partitioned off. Place number three really does have a lot of infrastructure for the kind of small farm animals that we will have. I did open those doors and holy humid. <laughs> Dogs should like me. <laughs> First turtle we've seen in Missouri. But it's not a busy road. Yeah. That other one off mm -hmm. 160 I was telling you about, that would that drive busy. you guys nuts. Yeah. And it looked like the home was even closer to the road than this. Oh, oh wow. Okay. Yeah, that would be cool. But when they build, they don't want to run 15 power poles. They just want to run one for whatever reason. Expediency. Yes. <laughs> And honestly, back when they built it, a lot of times it probably was a quiet road. Yeah, let's take a look. He's in there. Yeah. <coughs> and I'll tell you what, like, hiring somebody to come brush hog a lot of this would make a big difference. Mm -hmm. The brush hog would eat this up, no problem. on the side.
So it looks like they do have some fruit trees already. Pretty good sized ones. We got an asparagus bed, orchard with apple, pear, peach, plum, cherry, and crab apple. Mm -hmm. That's what they got. Mm -hmm. All right, here we have an emergency storm shelter. Let's take a look. <laughs> Not quite all the comforts of home, but if you uh, if you need it, I guess you need it. You want to see? I know what a storm shelter. Okay. I've never been in one. <laughs> it's kind of interesting. So you can lock it from the inside. Claustrophobic. Oh yeah. For one reason or another, this place seemed to have more bug pressure than some of the others. Oh yeah, there's a big, big nest over here, and definitely active. Yeah, wanna go in there? Screw on your jars of different tools and nails and screws or whatever. Yeah, this would be your shop. So, and then you can have tool storage stuff back in there, maybe. Oh, Brian, look up, look up there. Yep, yeah, I've seen a lot of uh, snake skin. Yeah. <laughs> uh, wasps and snakes and whatnot. The next place. He said they didn't, uh, he's not getting hold of them to get permission for you to film. Okay. But okay. he doesn't think it'd be a problem if you did film and then just don't post that one without permission. Sure, sure. Thanks for checking on that, by the way. Yeah. And so, property number four that we've seen has the most comfortable house so far. It's a decent sized lot, but the usable part is right up next to the road and you can see neighbors. So that's not our favorite scenario. And for me, the last two places have felt like you're kind of confined to the usable spot, the usable land right around your house. And the rest of your property is so inaccessible that it's just like it's not even part of the property. Maybe I'm spoiled by some of the places we saw earlier, but we've got a lot more to go. Place number five is definitely more private, and it has a pool. There's a lot of cross-fencing already on this place. The house looks big. We're about to go inside to see what that looks like. You're okay, Arrow. This does feel nice. Look at how open this feels, Wendy. It's really nice. I like the feel of this place with high ceilings. Isn't this, isn't this cool? Very nice walk-in closet.
You won't believe how big the master bedroom is, Wendy. You won't believe how big the master bedroom is. Oh. This is my whole tell, tell me about the kitchen. point of interest here. It's big. <laughs> it has lots of cabinets. And there's a bathroom for me right there that can just be mine. And so you have no reason to be in here <laughs> with your muddy feet. <laughs> yeah. Again, there's a ton of cabinet space in here. Yeah. Very cute. Yeah. Very cute. Yeah. 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 Yeah
Yeah, I see that up in the corner there. Yeah, a little discolored on that whole section. Fair amount of garbage on this that we'd have to clean up, but that's not a real consideration. What's that? That's been insulation. The, is that what the that good, is? good stuff where you spray it in and expands. Okay. Or great stuff, I think it's called. A place that needs some work is okay with us. This place has plenty of room for what we already have, but maybe not quite enough for what we eventually want to have. ...around and soil test the heck out of it and, and find the best spot. That, right that is a real nice little view, right right yeah. through there. Right through there. Picturesque, no, that's the pretty. word. I still think that second place had better views. There will be a lot of hard decisions in this process. Yeah, but it also had a, process. Um, bath, a tub held up with bricks. <laughs> yeah, yeah that, that house was not not ideal. It had some nice rustic charm, but the rustic charm maybe got a little too rustic at some times. <laughs> More rustic and less charm, that's right. So the pond on the property is dry at the moment. We don't know if it can hold water in wetter times or not possible we could excavate and create a deeper spot to actually have water here. It'd be nice to have water on the property, of course. It's, it's obviously a big depression, so I mean, it. Yep. Yep. at times it could be... It could be full, but it's, it's been really dry the last few years, too, so... This might be the first or second year it's ever been dry. <laughs> uh -huh. It's got a cute gate here. We're mostly surrounded by property that's owned by one person. And there's an easement for the driveway for us. Battleborn Ranch is what the place was called. Or is called at this point, I guess. Thank you for watching. Our search continues in the next video.